you hear the word cancer, and if it's something that's not affecting you or any of your loved ones, you kind of take it for granted. But when it happens to you, then your life changes around. It's like you kind of learn to appreciate little things. It just opens your eyes, pretty much. The biggest thing is don't don't be afraid to ask for help. First two rounds of cancer, I was I drove to every single one of my doctor's appointments, and this last time I couldn't. I physically could not. That was a big thing for me to overcome. I have a fairly strong independent streak. It was issued with the red hair. But here I am. I'm healthy now. So you can't let, you know, how sick you are. If you throw up everything, can't eat. They would feed me through a tube. I mean, all that could happen. But don't give up. People actually told me. I've had family members that tell me, what, well, aren't you worried? Aren't you scared? Aren't you... I don't know. You know, I'm not worried. I'm not, I don't want to get worried. I don't want to get scared. Because if you do that, then you begin to live like a worried, scared person. Think for now, do for now, and stay happy now. You can't look at yesterday because you can't change yesterday. You, tomorrow hasn't come yet. You can only focus on right now. I think we live in such a world where you're just rushed, 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 and it's literally slowing down and just being thankful and enjoying the small moments of life. My hair passed my shoulders. They got sick. After came, my hair fell out. I like my hair short. And I'm still pretty. The doctors at Duke were great. Even though I was coming from UNC, they would still show me so much love and joke around with me every time I got there. And it really didn't matter if I was wearing light blue or dark blue. They would treat me with the utmost utter respect. And going back for my MRI scans and stuff, I had complete faith in God and my doctors. And going back, it was just showing me, look, you're trusting me. Look, you're trusting your doctors. And you're going to change the world. I realized the energy, the power of the prayers that people sent me from all over the world. That was uh, the power that kept me strong and uh, I could tolerate everything. I need to fight and this is the big fight of my life. So I need to be strong and uh, deal with it and uh, not to be worried too much and depressed. I want my great grandkids not not to know what cancer is unless they look in a dictionary or they hear it on a history program. It's like the yin yang that you almost don't know how good you have it until there's a moment where it could all be taken away from you. But in that moment, I made myself some promises. These are the ways that I would like to be and have a deeper sense of purpose with the things that I do.